Hello, it is I, Queen Diva, and you're watching the Queen Diva YouTube channel. I am continuing on my journey towards a PhD. Normally, I try to record these on Monday, but Monday was Labor Day. How was your Labor Day? Mine was very relaxing. I did a prayer board. I wanted to put on, like, you know how you put a vision board together? Well, I put a prayer board, and there's pictures of various achievements, accomplishments that I want to see come to pass by the end of the year, by December 31st, or just to activate, be activated by December 31st. I had an amazing time. I did it live on another social media uh, network, and I'm going to do it again. I, maybe I'll do it on YouTube next time, um, but it was a lot of fun. I got another A on my assignment. I turned in assignment this Sunday and that was worth 30 points. All the other assignments that I've done up to this point have been 10 points. So I'm on pins and needles waiting for the grade. I'll get through the grade on Thursday. And um, so far so good. I am loving this process. It, basically this first class is a foundational class. It teaches you how to be the best student that you can be. Um, for those that's joining for the first time, welcome. Um, my name is Queen Diva and I'm working towards a PhD in education with a specialization in curriculum and teaching. I started on July 15th, 2024 and I am in a foundations class for graduate research and writing. And I am on week, this is week eight. I missed some weeks, <laughs> I haven't put them up, but I have been diligent in doing my assignments and turning in everything on time and just kind of pacing myself. Our homework is always due on Sunday. So what I do is I turn in an assignment and then I read what's next. And so this last assignment is all about self-care. And that's something that I'm really, really working on because I don't always take the time to take care of myself. And I know that's a terrible thing. And especially when I'm working on a PhD, I have my own business, I'm a musician, on and on and on. So I have to learn how to take the time for myself. So I'm so glad that they have this as part of the program in the course is self-care. And um, I'm excited. I haven't, started, I haven't started the assignment yet, but I am going to start. Uh, ooh, tomorrow's Wednesday. I looked over the assignment, so it's not anything as intense. It's going to take a whole lot of work. So I can't actually start. Usually what I do is I read it over on Sunday. I look it over on two, on Monday. And then Tuesday, I kind of map out what I'm going to do. Wednesday, I write the outline of it or whatever. And if I have to write, then I write again on Thursday. And then by Friday, I do my editing and then editing again on Saturday and then turn it on Sunday. But this assignment isn't so much about writing per se. It's more just putting together ideas of what you're going to do as far as self-care. So that's not something I had to, you know, so intense to do. So I'm glad about that. <laughs> but I am going to look over it again tonight before I go to sleep and then make sure I definitely do it. Um, also, I am looking to move. I'm looking to move to another state and I'm looking for new um business opportunities, um, clients. Uh, for those you may or may not know, I have, I'm an entrepreneur and the uh, name of my business is Divine Voices Media and I've had it for 20 years. And primarily it was more of a multimedia production. I did uh, radio, podcasting, I'm recording artists, uh, live performances, that kind of thing. But I kind of slowed down a little bit when I went back to school in 2020 for my executive MBA and then the pandemic hit. And then we recovered from the pandemic, so I haven't really been doing that much in multimedia production other than podcasting, which I haven't really been doing that, and I haven't really been doing this on YouTube. So I'm getting myself back on track and to really push forward in doing multimedia production. But on the flip side, I have been doing more of executive administration, social media, uh, digital content creation, that kind of thing. And it's a slow and steady, you know, steady pace 
Um, but I'm getting the hang of it, and I know eventually the, the you know, the cha-ching will start to come. Um, I'm also a recording artist. I have a song, I have two songs out. One is called This Day. It's a gospel um, a cappella song that I sang. I released it actually in 2018, and I put it on Reverb Nation, and now it's it turns out it's number one on Atlantic City. And then also I have an R&B song called Is You In? And I released that in 2021. And I just found out today that that's number one on the R&B chart. So one is on the gospel chart at number one. And the other one is number one on the R&B chart for Reverb Nation. So if you've never heard of Reverb, Reverb Nation, um, ReverbNation.com is a, it basically is a website that's geared toward independent artists. And they list people according to how many listens that you get on the on the network and i've been on the network for quite a long time i started initially with a dance like a gospel house dance song called just ordinary people and that got as high as number three in the new york and in the texas chart so i say all that to say i'm a musician i'm a scholar entrepreneur and it's a lot of things in between that I do as well, but those are the main things that I do. And so keeping balance while I'm working on my PhD is something that I am determined to do um, because I want this and I've wanted to do this for so many years. And I'm so glad that I'm doing it now and I'm loving this program. I'm at National University. It's an online program and it is the number one online program as a matter of fact and I'm so excited so please stay tuned for what I have next um with my well this is primarily about my my progression with my uh, PhD but it all kind of goes together because the reason why I wanted to get my PhD I wanted to create I still want to create an African-American music studies program they do not have that there's some schools that offer appreciation and some have like coursework but none of the schools offer a degree program so me being a musician me being a black musician loving black music black culture I was just perplexed in trying to understand why don't we have African-American music studies we have African-American studies but we don't have African-American music studies. And it's really just a passion in my heart, especially since I am the artist in residence for the Rhythm and Blues Preservation Society based out of Atlantic City. And I've been a part of their their uh, association for uh, now it's four years, uh, four years as the artist in residence VP. And uh, I absolutely love it. And all the different things that I have done along with the president, Perry Thompson, for hip hop, for R and B, for soul, for gospel, dance, you know, you name it. And it's just incredible the work that we're doing. It just really sparked me wanting to figure out how to put together a curriculum for African American music studies and to be able to bring that to various schools that are interested. And so that is why my concentration is curriculum and teaching um, under the education PhD program. So it's a lot. I know I shared a lot, but you'll learn more as you follow my my progression towards becoming and having a PhD. I'm already a doctor, if you did not know. I am my my legal name is Dr. Sonja Lee Freeman and I have a doctor of divinity. I received that in twenty twenty one. Um, just before I got my executive MBA. It's an honorary doctorate based on over 30 years experience that I have in clergy leadership, um, multimedia production and gospel and soul music. So I'm really blessed to do and receive all the accolades and credentials that I have. That's why I'm so excited about getting this PhD. So please, if you like what you're watching, subscribe and like and uh, continue to follow my progression and share with a friend because maybe there's someone else you know that's interested in getting their PhD. I'm 55 in their fabulous and um, maybe there's someone you know that's in their 50s going back and forth about doing it. All I can say is Nike, just do it. I'll talk to you next time. Have a wonderful evening, afternoon, morning, whatever time it may be.